Okay, I'm going to try this little guy again, the uh, GWS Pico Tiger Moss. Largely to see if I can get him to take off off the grass. It's a kind of marginal. I couldn't, when I was trying him the other day, I could not. But then I think his wheels were sort of getting stuck and not rotating. Now, see, those are his wheels. They are at least rotating freely now. They could do with being a little bigger. And indeed, actually, I ordered a pair of slightly bigger uh, you know, spindle wheels like that to put on him, but they haven't come yet. But I think, in the right, given the right conditions, it should be possible to get him to take off off the grass, even with these. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. Little bit of wind getting up now, which he doesn't like any wind, but what can you do? And uh, what was I going to say? Little, pretty overcast again, but they're not predicting rain today. I packed up just ahead of the rain yesterday. Mind you, there wasn't much rain early. But uh, they're not suggesting there's going to be any today, although it looks pretty overcast everywhere. Let's see if we can get this guy to run. No, see, one wheel's got stuck in some kind of hole now, I think. Yeah, see, it's, it's kind of potluck trying to get this guy to run on the grass, you know. It's... Oh! Why is, there, why is our right wheel always getting stuck in some kind of hole. Oh, it's annoying. There you go. He doesn't need a lot of speed, that's one thing. Which is true of a real Tiger Moss. Real Tiger Moss take off about 40 miles an hour. He doesn't need a lot of speed. You've just got to manage to get him to run a bit without getting one of those little wheels stuck in a depression in the grass. <laughs> and of course, you... Now, as I say, we've been through this, I've been through this discussion before. You've got to keep, with this guy, you've got to keep full up elevator on to keep the tail down. Otherwise, his nose will go down and his propeller will bite the grass because there's not much spare room there. With the real tiger moth, they actually do the opposite. They, they move, start to move it along the runway, then they give down elevator, which seems counterintuitive, but that's what they do. They give down elevator to bring... To, Cause, because that flies the tail up off the ground, because when the, when the, the, the plane's sitting naturally, it's sitting in a nose-up attitude, of course. So as they're running it along the runway, they give down elevator. That flies the tail up off the ground. Why well, I'm giving up elevator all the time here, I don't know. We don't need to keep gaining altitude. Anyway, uh... They give down elevator that flies the tail up off the ground. They get the plane into basically a horizontal attitude by flying the tail up. So for some reason, I seem to be pulling to the left. Although, you know, there is some wind and this guy doesn't respond at all well to wind. So it may just be wind rather than he's out of trim. But he really does seem to want to pull to the left. Seriously, I'm having to give large amounts of right all the time just to stop him going left. Time remaining, four minutes. And then I'm not really giving any left at all. When I'm turning left, I'm just letting him go straight. He seems to have a... Yeah, he seems to be hell-bent on turning left all the time. Which is not a good sign. I mean, he's not flying too badly otherwise, but why he's hell-bent on turning left? Or, anyway, yes, so the, when, when they get the plane into a horizontal attitude, you know, when the tail's basically level, they just keep it running along the wrong way in that attitude. Essentially by adjusting, you know, as the speed builds up, they can reduce the amount of down elevator and it still keeps the tail up and eventually the plane just flies itself off the ground in level attitude. Uh, this guy, he behaves like that to the point where he just flies himself off the ground at a low speed. But, but you've absolutely got to give him uh, up elevator else, as I say, is, if his tail comes up, I have to fly him off without letting his tail come up, because if his tail comes up, uh, his propeller will bite the grass, which isn't going to get me anywhere. Presumably that's not a problem with a real tiger moth, its propeller is... Its wheels are long enough, its propeller is small enough that it can, uh, it can fly in a horizontal attitude on the ground without its propeller hitting the ground, <laughs> clearly. But that's not really the case with this guy. You know, look at this guy when I land him, it seems weird. I, I, something's gone out of trim on him, I think, because he really is determinedly turning left all the time. Anyway, 
really all the only point of this though was to, uh, to to prove that like it was possible to take him off off the ground with these um, wheels although I'm still planning to change them if I can if I, I've, I've ordered a, a pair of, sort of considerably larger like whatever two inch or something spindle two inch two and a half inch I can't remember exactly spindle wheels try not to fly in there you go the time estimate on this one is uh, is uh, is conservative he can actually fly for longer than that <sighs> however i mean could we possibly we should really try and land him at some point at which point you know landing generally involves descending on the runway i mean that's generally the idea ah can't get him to run on the runway when he lands at all. I've never really succeeded in doing that. Maybe with the bigger wheels I'll be able to get him to actually run along the runway when he lands. It's one thing to get him to run along the runway and take off. When he lands, as soon as the wheels touch the ground, they just have to dig in and stop him. <clears throat> yeah, they're still turning. It's not that they're jammed or... Yes, I think we mentioned that before. There seems to be some vibration there. The propeller Throttle cut on. is not really in balance. There's the little pilot that somebody put in. Uh, hmm. I'm just putting a bit of right trimming, but there doesn't seem, you know, I mean, the rudder looks fairly straight it doesn't seem it doesn't look as if it's got any violent left trim on him so i don't know why he was tending to turn left all the time there nope i have no idea why he was persistently trying to turn left there and i don't remember him doing that before well yeah i mean i suppose it depends how you look at it the tail it almost looks as if the tail itself is a bit left I don't know. Yeah, see, I'm trying to make the, the the rudder look as if it's going straight with the with the body of the plane, and I guess there was a bit of left trim in it for some reason. Although it wasn't far out, but anyway, I've put it back in the middle now. I mean, it wasn't impossible to fly. It was just a bit weird having to keep. You know, push him right all the time just to make him go straight. I mean, it's not like it didn't make him difficult particularly, but it just uh, seemed on the unnecessary side. I don't know, I've put his thing in a hole there.